My Fitness Journey Adventure by Jackson. Okay. Hello, I am the Gladiator. Yeah, that's right. Today, I'm going to be going over my, I guess, journey throughout the past year. Ever since October, I have been grinding it out. I've been exercising. I've been dieting. I've been losing the weight. I've not really told anyone aside from friends, family, and some family of friends, but I've not really made anything public or really um, talked about it at all. Until today, where we're going to be uh, covering um, all the way back from October 2023 to September 2024. So, um... Get ready, because there's so much, there's so much that has happened this past year that I've kind of kept secret, because I just didn't really want to reveal information, I didn't really want to make my whole exercise thing kind of like a, I just wanted that to be like a personal thing for me, and a personal goal for myself, and, and um, and yeah, today I'm going to be sharing most of it. Well, I'm not going to go into detail because I don't want this video to be like an hour long. But we're going to be talking about a lot of the more important things, let's just say. So, 10 years in the making. It So, <laughs> technically this whole thing has took 10 years. Essentially of 2014, it just started with... Um, it started with the beginning of 2014 where my mom had said, Alright, we need to like do something about like this weight loss thing. And it was just kind of this dieting thing, which, well, <laughs> didn't really last long. Um, so for about 10 years, it basically turned into this whole Ross and Rachel. Like reading Ross and Rachel from Friends where it was like an off and on again re a relationship with dieting and exercising. So there'd be times where I'd be exercising like crazy and it'd be really good, but my dieting was but my dieting was abysmal. Or there were other times where I was dieting really well, but I there was just no actual good physical activity going on. The exercises were just non-existent. As the video as the point of this video is, that all kind of ended. Uh, September of this year, uh, of last year, not this year. One month of ex no. But anyway, on my phone, um, every any time I'd get weighed, I would always kind of jot down um, how much I weigh in stones and in pounds. So we have um, August tenth, twenty twenty. I was twenty two stones, um, which is eleven uh, twenty stones and eleven pounds, aka three hundred and nineteen pounds. June 1st, 2022, so it's just two years later, I was um, just, you know, like uh, f five pounds more heavier. Um, and then I was weighing myself every month. This is when I was like exercising a lot every month. It was like two weeks of exercises um, every single month. But I, anytime I got weighed, I was so put down because of the fact that I was not even losing weight. I mean, in August, I gained two, I gained two pounds uh, somehow, but I lost four pounds in a month between June and July. It was just really abysmal, but the reason why is because of a near non-existent diet, I was barely losing anything. Like I was still eating, um, I think, shit food, right? <laughs> so, you know, like sugar and, fast food and all that stuff and that was like all, like all the time and because of how this is like September 2022 it only got worse I think 2023 was probably the worst year in terms of um eating healthy but we'll get to that later um so anyway let's start off <laughs> let's start off by talking about September 9th 2023 um, as you can see that by this picture, I've censored um, everyone's faces with the with the goofy emoji. Um, uh, another interesting thing about this video is that I have not told anyone that I'm even making this video in the first place. I've not told my parents or anything. So this is a complete surprise, and because of that, and because it's going to be basically this entire video, it's a PowerPoint. This entire video, I'm going to show you a bunch of like pictures. And um, there are people that appear in the pictures, and I have to kind of censor their faces. So um, all of these guys are censored with the goofy emoji. Anyway, this is September 9th, 2023. This is last year. This is my 20th birthday. Um, 
And, uh... Yeah. I, um... As soon as I got this picture, I was really... I was really sad. I... I don't know... It, I just... It occurred to me that... Because you, when you don't really look at yourself... I feel like a lot of people have this experience when... When you don't really look at themselves that much... It kind of sets this precedent where they don't know what they actually look like. And seeing this picture was kind of... Me thinking... Oh... I need to do something about this. And... I'm not gonna say I look terrible or bad or whatever. It's not about that. It's just about it's just about when you experience like a level of body dysmorphia and like when like you have this image of what you look like in your head, but you don't look like that in real life. And um I think looking at this image was really sad. I um I was really sad when I saw this. Uh the ironic part was was that by the time I saw this image, I was in the middle of eating a 14 inch pizza and I was like and then I stopped and I look at I looked at what I was doing and I was like oh well it's just not <laughs> yeah this is not good but also by this point I was superly in the wanting of of losing the weight it was just didn't have the motivation I didn't have the motive I didn't have the push I think a lot of people in this situation want to lose weight but they don't have but they they don't have the motivation, you don't need, they, like, they, they don't have the push. You need someone to kind of, like, you need someone to literally push you into a uh, circumstance where you're just like, okay, um, you gotta fucking do this, buddy. <laughs> well, luckily by, you know, eventually this happened. Um, October 2023, the beginning. So the very first session, I, um... Wait, hang on. I gotta just move myself. So yeah, so the very first session um, was literally just walking up this uh, this bowl-shaped track. And I tell you, um, before the session, I was really excited to finally, you know, it was it was finally I was finally doing it. So I was like excited to be finally back in. I, w I was really excited. I was happy. I was nervous because I knew that it was going to be hard. And uh, let me tell you this. <laughs> This is really hard. Like, this isn't even, like, really any exercises. This is literally just walking up, like, this is walking up an incline. A really abysmal, infamous incline um, for Liverpool Scousers. But I got up to, like, this, where, where my cursor is, and I was, I was, like, I was huffing and puffing. <laughs> I was huffing and puffing. It was, it was, I was so like, <gasps> like literally I had this, I have like this heat stroke thing where if I get, if my body gets way too warm, I, my eyes will start going all blurry and it feels like I'm about to faint. And I had that feeling and it was like, I had to sit down on the bench for like several fucking minutes. But that was session one. And you're probably wondering who this uh, cowboy hat emoji guy is. Well, um, this is my uh, personal trainer, Yeehaw. Over the time, over the next few months, we kind of, our kind of relation um, eventually evolves from, currently he's not really my personal trainer, but he's more so a, uh, a, a training partner. But back then he was basically, he, he, he was the personal trainer because we didn't really, we, we, we don't really know each, we didn't fully know each other that well. Um, he did, um, he did, uh, trained me in uh, 2022 when I was like weighing myself every month but that was um but that was as part of like a group but this is like just us it's just us two kind of like a one-on-one -on -one type of thing oh I guess we got a video to watch okay well done. so this is like me squatting for the first time in your own time, a big a beginner solid. squatting. One. Jesus. Yes. One brilliant rep. Brilliant. Good work. That, that'll do you. Okay. Flight, and then we've got one rep to go. I'm just filming you there. I want to show you how good your reps are. So I'll show you in a bit. It's okay. Hang on, I'm just. <laughs> it's way too early to do. It's way too early to do like comparisons, but I'm just kind of looking at myself here, and I'm just like. Well, wow, I've, I don't look like that. I don't, I don't, I don't look like this anymore, that much. But um, 
yeah, that's just fun. Um, and also, what's funny is that I can I can squat properly now. Um, so I'm <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretending as if somehow I feel like I'm pretending as if I'm watching this for the first time. I've, of course not. I've I was the one that made the PowerPoint, but I'm just also like. <laughs> I'm now getting the time to actually reminisce and sink into the fact that everything is different. Everything has changed now. So, now we move on to November 2023. Uh, we're still in early days. Um, but these, this video, uh, well this session, took place at like a, like a gym that my uh, PT goes to. And um, so here I'm doing, um, I think these are called Russian Swings. Flop down, flop down. This is like the first time I'm doing them, and I'm really tired already. Oh. Skill issue. And then this is like, it's like a form of squatting, but you've got like you're holding this weight on you, so it's like you're you're squatting up, but you're also carrying this weight. Listen, I'm not I'm not actually educated about the terms. I mean. So basically, like my PT, he like he'll tell me all these terms or whatever. But he, I, I'm pretty sure he he's making it up himself. With everything that happens, or with everything that you're gonna see that uh, that like that happens throughout this video, um, none of this was possible without him. By the way, uh, Mr. Yeehaw. That's what we're gonna refer to him from now on, Mr. Yeehaw. So um, so thank you, Mr. Yeehaw, for I guess making this possible. Because, um, because I said before, as I said before, you need like kind of a push. You need someone to kind of push you. I think there are so many people that are motivated and that they want to actually, you know, they want to actually lose weight or whatever. Um, but I think it's like you just need someone to, to, to dip your head in the swimming pool. Okay, well maybe not like, maybe it's wrong, it's a wrong metaphor. It's just kind of what you need though. <laughs> and, um, and luckily I had a guy that could do that for me and it was him so um thanks a lot and um and now that we've got the compliments out the way super early i can for the rest of the video i can now call him a jackass he's a jackass so now we're on session 14 we're back at that ball from session one and there's already like a, it is already a major improvement from the first session um so session 14 um there's two sessions a week. It's like it's every Tuesday and every Thursday. Uh, well, every every Tuesday and every Thursday morning. <laughs> morning. So he'll usually pick me up from my house at like 9.30 to 10 a.m. Um, which I think exercising in the morning is really good. It's just a really good start of the day because you can because you can, because you can go out exercise in the morning. You can come back in. You come back. You come back home. You take a shower and you get dressed into like actual clothing, and then um, and then you just you just good for the rest of the day. The worst part is there is there are headaches. There are I sometimes get really bad headaches from from doing some of these sessions, and it's not really that great. But anyway. <laughs> December 2023, COVID arc. December, so as you can see, I'm doing, I'm doing whatever the, well, whatever the hell this is. But December was kind of a, a weird month where there wasn't really any sessions going on because I had got, I had gotten coronavirus. I had gotten a, a sick for like a week, so there was already two sessions gone. And then I think he was on holiday um, for. A week so then there was just there was just no so there was no sessions um, so there wasn't so there's not really much to talk about like this is like literally the next session so yeah there's, there wasn't really much going on with this month except that this is also the first session or first picture that I'm showing where I'm in this room which is basically where we do like weightlifting so here I'm doing um, actually don't know what you call this side raises I, I guess based on yeah side races but you're like but you're like lying down and it's like yeah they're they're really tough so then we move on to January 2024 this is when everything changed this was basically the point when I actually felt like I was physically losing weight I think it was essentially like the first or second week of January into this new year I started doing this juice fast and um, basically in this juice fast it's like you um you don't eat anything except you drink six you drink six of these drinks 
every day, every day, so seven days. It was actually pretty easy. I mean, I had nothing going on in that week. The only weird thing was that there wasn't, I didn't do any, I didn't do any exercise, I, like, because there were still no sessions going on this week. So there was just kind of like, because um, cause he was on holiday, uh, Mr. Yeehaw. So, um, so I was literally just kind of drinking these and, you know, it was, it was chill. Like, there were moments where I felt like I started having a mental breakdown because I just couldn't eat anything. I think to cope, I had to, I had to bite my arm. Um, so, these drinks though, uh, the Hydrating Tonic Turmeric Lemon Flush, uh, I had to drink this. This is like the first drink I had to drink a day, and the rest of the drinks were pretty good, except this one. It's got ginger and like turmeric and all that stuff. I hated that shit. It was so bad. And here it's just kind of, these are just from like archived Instagram stories from talking about this. Um, the main reason why I, I even did all this is because I'm actually a picky eater. I could explain about why or how all that is the case, but I'm probably gonna wait until like a future video or time to talk about it more because it's a little bit, it's a little bit complicated, but but I realized with the juice fast is that the main way for me to get over that kind of that complication instead of, instead of like actually eating healthy, I would instead drink healthy. So this had like basically all of the fruit, veg and like additional stuff that like I that, that I wouldn't really eat it, it individually, but I would eat, but I, but I would drink it all at once and it was really good and I think it, it paid off pretty well. But yeah, it was really cool. And um, and because of and also because of this, it helped me to kind of get the idea out of, of by not having anything sugary, no like like no cookie, like no actual sugary cookies or sh cakes or um, crazy eating fast food. Instead, it would instead that would be like a that would be kind of that would be tend to like a every two weeks type of audio where I where I would have like a takeaway or whatever or. Um, and yeah, like, yeah, no biscuits and whatever. So, it was all, it was all pretty good, I'd say. Loophole moment. Protein bars slash cookies. Yeah, I just eat these. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like the main kind of coping thing. Like, instead of, in, instead of having shit like this, I just eat these. Because it's just like, good protein. It's low sugar. Uh, plus, it still tastes like the stuff. The only obvious bad thing is that a lot of the snacks are really dry so they make you drink water or milk to make it digest well but they're still good and um so usually my main thing is i eat it once a day there was a bit in the middle of 2024 where i was eating a bit way too much a day um which i've stopped doing that now i'm not at the point where i'm like where i'm objectively calorie counting I'm, i don't have like a i don't have i don't have an app or whatever but i track it in my head so yeah it's it's worked well and it's been working well because because <laughs> I, I tell you like a, a, like a week after i had done the whole juice fast i started like touching my face and i noticed i had like a jawline and it was such a weird thing to just witness really you just wake up and you, st you just notice that you have like this jawline it felt like it felt like going through like a second puberty where like your body is just changing like unexplainedly and it's just like oh this is so weird now this is just what life is now i guess and yeah january 2026 so this is what i mean this is this is like i think the, the time or the first documented picture when i felt like i was physically starting to lose weight this was also the day when i had gotten a uh, a tardis tattoo I'd gotten this TARDIS tattoo. Can I just say that this tattoo has been like, has been like the ultimate icebreaker for people because I feel like every single person I've come across, they always point out that I have this tattoo and then it just leads into this conversation about Doctor Who. But it's always the exact same conversation where basically I say, who's your favorite doctor? And then they say, oh, uh, my favorite doctor is David Tennant. And I'm just like, okay, <laughs> okay. What do I say to that? That's just the most boring answer. <laughs> and and then they will say, "Oh, I, I never really watch like Jodie Whittaker's stuff." Because I guess does, doesn't anyone actually care? I think she was fine. February twenty twenty four. 
keeping it up. Um, there weren't there weren't many pictures this month, but life just kind of just went on as normal. Well, that went on as the new normal. You can't really say normal. This is like the new normal. This is like this is like when things started to change. March 2024. Doing a little more. Um. Oh, right. Doing a little more. I remember now. Okay. This is when. This was around the time when I started exercising outside of these, outside of the Tuesday and Thursday sessions. So uh, during this, there was a week where Mr. Yeehaw uh, wasn't able to, I think he was out of town. So what I did instead was I started, um, I started doing like short distance sprints. Um, I had a picture of the street, but then I realized I can't post it because it would tux my location. But so here's this picture of me that I took right after doing one of those sprints. Uh, additionally, in April 2024 was when I started going to the gym. That's when I started getting, I, I had I'd gotten like a membership or membership with my stepdad, Simon, and we started going to the gym. And this is all because on back in December, I told myself that by the time April comes around, I would start going to the gym. And so I did. Um, and this is like a list of all the things that we kind of, uh, of all the things that we did together. We basically, so we went to the gym and we got told by like a guy that works at the gym. We got, we got given kind of like a list of like activities. I don't know why I said activities, a list of exercises to do. And it was basically just with the sole purpose of losing weight. So this is just literally everything, a bit of everything. We got chest, leg, um, a, a lot of arms and then I think there's also like a you know like going on the treadmill for like 10 minutes as like a warm-up and then there's the battle ropes which basically just does everything in your body so so that was like that was really it so yeah so this is when basically things started going up a little bit plus April 3rd I decided to weigh myself and I was um April 3rd 2024 I was 21 stones aka 295 pounds so I had lost over 25 pounds from September 2020, from September 2022. Emphasis on the 2022. So a year before that that birthday picture, basically. So it's kind of weird because I didn't weigh myself at the beginning. So we don't really know how much I weighed. But because I knew for a fact that throughout 2023 um, and even the rest of 2022, I had put on a lot of weight from because I remember eating a lot of unhealthy food that like like that entire year and just not doing anything physically at all i'm willing to bet that i weighed more than 22 stones but this was still good and when i reminded myself of that i, I thought over 25 pounds well yeah that's really good um yeah i mean i worked, worked hard so of course so then april 17th 2024 i did stand-up comedy which i also did in october 2025 this is the exact same venue, so this is like a kind of a comparison of what October looked like to April, which, yeah, I think this is a big job. I'm wearing the exact same pants, <laughs> I've just noticed. So when we, go, so when we get to May slash June, um, not much really happened in June, so May and June are basically being paired together. Um, yeah, I started juice fasting again. <laughs> so this picture was literally when I started. Uh, this is like an hour in. Um, I yeah, I'd also I'd, I'd gotten corners as well. Um, and uh, this week it was it was fine because um, not much really happened d during that week, and um, I think I spent most of it watching The Good Place, which is like a TV show on Netflix. It's really good. I, I actually like The Good Place a lot, and it. It made me feel more. It kept it kept me sane as I was uh, as I was back to drinking these six drinks again. But also that week I was also exercising, and then I kind of realized that when you don't really eat, when you haven't really eat much of carbs, exercising becomes so much more harder because I just wasn't. <laughs> it was so tiring. Like having one session in the gym and it was just really tiring. The session with Mr. Yeehaw and it was. I was, I was on like a edge of a breakdown because it's like when you don't, when you have, when, because food is basically fuel and then when you basically instead, you don't actually have food, it's just not, it's not really that, you don't really have that much of a fuel source 
So there was like, so I think throughout the days there were energy spikes, but then there were also a lot of low spikes. Um, but yeah, so here's some pictures that went on. Massive improvement. I'm even wearing different pants here because the pants that I wore in the previous pictures were too big. And then there's a video. Super control it down. Two, solid mate. Excellent. Three. Don't forget to breathe. Breathe up. That's the one. Good. Yes, five. Halfway there. Seven. Three to go. Yes, excellent. Two more. Yeah, so as you can see, everything is just, everything just goes a bit crazy now, doesn't it? <laughs> crazy. Um, okay, so this was in Africa, oh yeah, which was like the middle of June, right? Um, this is my favorite picture of myself because I look at this picture and I'm just like, holy shit. <laughs> I, this is, I think this is like the, my, the, like uh, my, just the favorite picture of myself. I don't know why, maybe it's the angle. It's probably the angle, but I don't know, I just... I look at this picture and I just see a t totally completely different person. I don't want to toot my own horn here, but like I think I feel like that's also kind of the point of this video <laughs> is to just you know see what life went on throughout the entire throughout like throughout the this entire year and it's just like yeah I I'll always yeah and this is just really good. I want to feel like this twenty like twenty four seven every single day. Okay, so. July 2024. This is the real motivator. So from December, I, well, it wasn't December. It was, it was actually, it was October. Um, it was October. Mr. Yeehaw told me that like, he, he, he asked me, um, what are your, he, he said, what, what's your goals or what's your drive or your motivation in terms of doing this? And, um, in my head, there were so many answers that I could, that I could tell him. There were so many different answers that I told him. I told him only one answer though. Because it was one answer that I felt the most important. I don't, I don't fully know what I want to do in life, but I think one of my biggest passions is doing sh um, shit like this, um, entertaining, acting, whatever, stand up, whatever, whatever I do. As long as it's entertaining the people on stage or on camera like this, I'm completely fine. Um, I'm completely fine with doing that. But you, but there's one thing. To do that with you need so much energy you need like the mental capacity and the energy with doing all this and i thought to myself okay all right um summer show uh for my youth theater is is going to happen in, in in july um it's october so okay so till july it's october 20 it's october 20 it's october 2023 right now so i've got like several months to to, to lose so much weight as i possibly can or want to um for this show uh the end result we did three nights of this show i think every night went absolutely perfect not just for me but for every but for everyone else um kind of a miracle actually <laughs> that this show was great oh man i i wanted to do like a separate video talking about this show be like i like like how i did last year but instead do it in a similar powerpointy way but i um I didn't get the pictures on time. I still don't even have the pictures. Anyway, it's so sad. But yeah, I think I think it was just so rewarding that it went really well. Um, and um, I I do feel satisfied with that goal. Obviously, whether or not that motivation still exists now, of course it does. Um, and this is a this is a backstage photo that my friend took of me um, in the middle of show night number two. It's like it's like one of those weird 0 0.5 times pictures. Um, so for any context, my character in this is that I'm playing um, a character called Mr. Peters, who is like a science teacher. And the whole point of this show, the show is called the Nova Effect, by the way, um, is that I send my students. So all of these disguise face emoji censored people are my my school students, and I um, and we accidentally go back into the future. Well, we accidentally time travel. 100 years into the future um i think it was really good i think i think it was really good i still remember i probably remember most of my lines as well i mean i had like an opening monologue for the show and that was really stressful but i think it, i think it turned out really well and then this is 
<laughs> what happened the week after? Mr. Yeehaw, or rather I should say, Mr. Jackass, put, decided to put me back into the ringer. Um, I look so defeated. I don't know, there's like not really any thought or whatever that goes into my head when doing this. I just try to lock in as much as humanly possible. I take off my glasses and when I take off my glasses, you know shit is about to get s s serious. I was about to swear there, I didn't want to swear. August 2024, one month before my 21st birthday. And um, this is what I accomplished. Oh, excellent four, push all the way up, stick in the arms. Okay, let's start to go down. Keep the backside straight. That's the one. Let's go down. Bend them arms. Bend them arms. Bend them arms. Okay, big push now. Let's get right the way up. So you lift your body off the floor. Good. Yeah, I can nearly do a push up now. <laughs> I'm so close to being able to do an actual push up. So what started as um Excellent. as kneeling as like a kneeling push up. Now I can actually do it on the ground, um, but but my legs are like, I'm not like, my, my whole body is not up yet. But yeah, soon, soon I can probably be able to do big, big push an actual push up. So that's a, that's a big milestone. Another big milestone is this. 13th August weigh-in result. 13th of August 2024, I am 19 stone, oh, oh my god, you can't even see. I am 19 stones and five pounds, aka 271 pounds. I lost 24 pounds since April, and um, yeah, I'm below, tw I'm, I'm below 20 soon. Which is, which is great. <laughs> Big milestone there. You're probably wondering why I don't weigh myself every week or every, every month, like, you know, a no like how a normal person would. But it was because I did do every month back in 2022. And seeing the results of, uh, and seeing the weighing results of all that sucked so much because because again I was I was I was either it was one month where I lost four pounds there was another month where I gained two pounds it was so dumb and obviously back then that was like bad diet now present day present times the diet has been fine but I I don't know I I just I'd rather see like I'd rather see. I just don't care about numbers. Well, I, I care about numbers, but I I honestly would rather care. I honestly rather care about how I physically feel. I, like this past, this entire year, it's been so great waking up every single morning, immediately going towards the bathroom, looking at myself in the mirror, and just being able, and, and just being able to, to still see that like, wow, I, I've lost weight, that's amazing. And just being able to vis visually see that difference has been so good to me that I rather prefer that than just numbers. I like the numbers for objective, for objective reasons, but I feel like just physically, you know, physically, I just prefer that a little bit more because I feel like I feel like one could e one's whole mind could easily get completely deteriorated if they saw the, if the if they saw the numbers and saw that there was no progress in fact the opposite like a complete regression and um ideally i never want to regress ever again if i do that would be really sad that'd be like the opposite of the friends finale when ross and rachel get back together for real this time hopefully hopefully but um <laughs> but that kind of brings us to the end of the powerpoint but with, but with one question, what actually happened on the 21st birthday? Enough of the yapping. Here's the side-by-side -side comparison. Wow. To think this is one year apart makes me really happy. This video doesn't exist for the sake of being inspirational or whatever, but I just wanted to share my progress throughout the last 11 months of my life. Doing this has already been life-changing. Thank you to a lot of the people that have helped me and thank you for watching. These aren't the usual videos I make, I'm a chronic gamer, but consider liking and subscribing anyway. Thanks a lot and goodbye.